<laughs> I prepared uh, um, the history of Valentine's Day for today's topic. And I'm going to focus on the origin of uh, Valentine's Day, especially because it's a limited time and there are a lot of histories. So, uh, go next. So, first, I uh, uh, googled on the yeah, googled Valentine's Day. And then they have several sections that we can simply think of, like events or um, you know, cars, gifts, love, stuff like that. I mean, yeah. And then those are the pictures that I could get if I just simply type Valentine's Day. So it's all about love, it's about the dessert, food, or you know, some romantic things, chocolate especially. Mm -hmm. So I just got the idea of Valentine's Day, simply um, it's for loving couples, not the single people. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, you know, since we already researched on Valentine's Day, I wanted to reflect on ourselves. So, probably we're going to do, you know, dating with a boyfriend, you know, having a nice time on Valentine's Day, right? Or, if there is no you, we we'll still remember that there is you, probably. <laughs> so, probably you'll be happy ever after, or you'll be probably stay at home and, you know, making yourself like not existing in the world. Or, or you, love, you, you say, I'm alone and I love it, and then at the end you cry. <laughs> So that is what is actually happening in the Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> and I started wondering where did all this start? So I know it's really nice to have a piece of donuts or you know chocolate or hanging out with your lovers. It's amazing, but I just figured that we should know about the history where it is from instead of you know it is making us spend a lot of money. <laughs> And then we are just kind of seems lost in there for you know happiness. So I started going for the origin of Valentine's Day. So um, it's actually called Saint Valentine's Day. So you can just read through the blue letters, it's key points. So ancient Christian and Roman tradition is from um, here and then the Valentine's Day is uh, derived from 5th century and then it's usually, well it's not usual, it's from Roman holiday Lu Lupercalia. So you have no idea what Lupercalia is. <laughs> so before we jump to the next step, um, well we got to see that the it's not exactly known why the 14th of uh, February is known as Valentine's Day. Or if it's no volunteers really had any relation to this day. So we don't really know. The history is well sometimes it's a fact, but for especially for Valentine's Day, we can't really detect which is true or fact. So we kind of have a lot of options. So that's why if you look through it, there are a lot of stories about Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just I picked a very common one that people would usually have raised on, so I'm going to just go next step and see here. So there are three Valentine's Day basically. So the first one is, um, is it? Uh, a prize in Rome. So the author of them, all three of them names is Valentine's. So uh, the first one is a prize in Rome and the other one is a bishop in Turney. And the last one that we are actually considering a real Valentine's film is that his name is Saint Valentine's Day, but we don't really know what kind of history he has, but we know that he met his end in Africa. That's the truth, I think. And then, uh, and then those are the pictures that I could get for the first, second, and third. So, jump to the next. And you know, you didn't understand the festival of Lupercalis or Lupercalia. So I did a little bit of research. So actually we, you know, let's see the picture first. So those pictures are basically from the back in Roman. So they celebrated, um, yeah, 
fertility celebration that used to observe annually on February 5th. So which means they celebrated on February 5th for the uh, abundance, well, not abundance, I'm sorry. Like, uh, like a lot of, thank you. for example, you gave a lot of babies a birth, something like that, so they celebrate about it. So, but, but, the Valentine's Day that we know is on 14th, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a little story that why it changed it to 14th. Um, so these are the, the pictures that they are celebrating. And the, the next one is, so before, actually it's so all in that story, so there are two different stories of uh, Valentine's. And then one is for the Protestant, the other one is Catholic. So both versions talk about um, a bishop who held sacred marriage ceremony of soldiers opposing to Claudius II, the second, second or two. <laughs> <laughs> so it's um, there was so I'm gonna tell you a basic story that um, they celebrated on fifth, fifteenth. And then the reason why they celebrate it is for celebrating a lot of babies, you know, a, like a giving of birth to a lot of babies. But uh, one of the Christian person, I don't know who it is, but he started thinking, oh, I want to make this day as some kind of a saint day, you know? So they uh, was like arguing about it because even a pagan who is not really, they think that it, Pagan are against to their own belief. They are having a lot of uh, saint and noise, you know, um, days for the holiday. So he wanted, he got a little greedy, I think, and he wanted to make a day to celebrate, putting his kind of name on it. And then that's where he from. This both stories are from. So there was a saint Valentine living in this. Uh, Life. And then there was a lot of, in Roman, there was a lot of wars going on, you know, the great empire Roman. So they, uh, to fight, and then they tried to, you know, um, destroy other, other countries. But actually they were destroyed by other countries, and they were getting weaker and weaker. So they were trying to get into the war. And then they uh, tried to gather all the young men to be a soldier. So they pro and then the, the Claudius thought that um, marriage, uh, loving all those tough girls, were actually make the soldier weaker because they want to go home, and then they want to survive instead of fighting for the you know what. So he prohibited the marriage because. It's very dangerous for the for himself, I think. And then he absolutely hated a girl and boy dating. Mm -hmm. So this is a picture that I found on the Google that uh, soldiers are kissing a woman mm -hmm. before they war. So it's based on this uh, belief. And they go back to the prota Protestants mm -hmm. and Catholic. So the Catholic legend is that Valentine did this through the vehicle of his strong faith. So Catholic people think that um, in avoid uh, prohibiting all the marriage and clouds are uh, and then finally um, wins the battle mm -hmm. are based on the strong faith. But on the other hand, Protestants didn't you know agree on them. But well, it's pretty much like from the basis that um, the war of uh, Empire Roman, and then there were little different arguments in between, but they all agree on the fact that the Valentine, who was one of the soldiers in the war, he got into the uh, prison because he married to a woman secretly, and then. Uh, the king, the Claudius, he found it out, so he put him in the free pr prison. And then the Valentine made the Asterius, is a guy, in the prison. Mm -hmm. And then he told the Valentine that his daughter is blind. Mm -hmm. 
So the Valentine pretty much like got to know the daughter and then he fixed them, mm -hmm. fixed her. So this is another fact that everybody agrees on that you know Valentine did succeed to help Asteria's blind daughter. So it's like a let's see the, the very uh, basic story that I mentioned earlier, and then a little different two story and then another same you know conclusion. So so after all, the Valentine he uh, he healed the daughter's eye, and then. The Claudius figured it out. So he wanted to make the Valentine some kind of god. Mm -hmm. So because he uh, cured the blinded eyes, right? So but the Valentines refused to agree. He didn't want to be the god of women. So and then it kind of um, it really did upset the Claudius. So. Yeah, the Claudius decided to convert to Valentine to Roman god. Uh, I mean, tried it but failed, so he executed to uh, Valentine to another country. So <laughs> you can tell that Claudius is really greedy person. <laughs> <laughs> so the Valentine decided to write a letter to mm. his loving girl. Mm. The woman, so it's another legend that Valentine did fell in love with the girl, yeah. Okay. So, so this is where the uh, you can find the connection to the 21st century, the nowadays Valentine's because he wrote a letter, he asked for the pen and paper, and then he wrote a letter to the you know the girl, and then he in the end. He made a comment like, uh, "What was I? Is it from Young Ju or from you know KT or something like that?" So he said, "From your Valentine." So it's where this is from. The from your Valentine became you know <laughs> our loving thing. So yeah. So this is what we can see on the twenty first century. That a lot of course will say that be my Valentine, I'm your Valentine, something like that. So it's basically they go for the holiday traveling on you know twenty first century, or you know go on a nice date, or it's from the Italy that they are making the street of full of Valentine balloons. So they are celebrating Valentine's Day. But before the reason why I choose this Valentine Day history is because before we celebrate the real the uh, uh, loving moments, we need to know what kind of history was relying based on the fact. So there are basically, I'm going to say one more time, the first one is, it started from um, celebrating the uh, affluent, like a lot of babies. And then the other one is there were actually Valentine who um, fell in love with a girl and then who was also a soldier, but formally, you know, executed from the Roman and probably died in Africa. Mm -hmm. So, but before we jump to the, the Valentine, there was more than two Valentines that we don't really find a connection to the 21st century's Valentine. Mm -hmm. So you see how big the Valentine's history is. So I only picked the vol actual the third Valentine because it's most probable. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so I I hope it kind of help you to when you come, <laughs> you know, finally meet the Valentine. I hope you don't you know end up like this. <laughs> but actually, no, like uh, you can at least say this is not all about love. It also has a history. So don't feel too bad. Don't be like this next year. <laughs> and like that's that is all I prepared. And this is a reference, and you can go through, and they're really nice. Please, that you can watch for the history. Thank you. Thank you.